Excuse me, coming through. Alright guys, welcome to another most excellent day on the Good News Bus. Um, we have a lot to catch you up on. As we've been very busy doing all kinds of things. Hold on, I gotta shut my generator off here. So I was running the generator because I was just having Arwen make me a coffee. On this show, many, many times I've talked about the importance of fresh roasted coffees and we've heard back from some of you guys that in your area you can't find that. So we're looking into a way to get you guys fresh roasted coffee so you can taste the difference for yourself. If that's something you'd be interested in, comment and let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to try fresh roasted coffee you'd like to purchase it from us let us know and we will see what kind of feedback we get from people so about a week ago i had to do a repair on the bus all right guys so a couple weeks ago um i was having an issue actually with my bus starting and i came back here and i noticed that there was this little device this thing right here the terminals on it were actually loose i noticed that some of the terminals looked like they'd gotten really hot and even melted and so i started doing some research and found out that it's a solenoid that is the um, heater grid solenoid so when you turn your key on on this bus there's a light that comes on that says intake heater and when it's cold that light will remain on until the intake heater has warmed up enough so this solenoid is actually the intake heater solenoid so we drove about 45 minutes and found an official cat I know everyone's gonna say, well, why'd you buy a cat? You know, they're expensive. I actually had a lot of mechanics say, you know what, spend the extra money and get cat parts. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But this one wasn't too bad and it's got the factory plug on it and everything. And so we're going to install this today. So because this is an electrical part that I assume connects to the battery, um, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my battery terminals first, just to make sure we don't short anything out. Ashley, it looks like I need a 916 wrench. All right, all the terminals are unhooked. All right, so I think the first thing we need to do, Ashton, is take these terminals off on each side of this solenoid. It was a relatively simple repair, so it's working fine now. The other new development is the guy that created our very first Bus Life logo, this one right here, has designed a new logo for us to reflect the front of this bus, and we've changed it pretty much. We've changed from this logo to our new logo on pretty much all our social media outlets, on our, our YouTube page. But we also came out with all new designs and t-shirts and, and sweatshirts and all, all kinds in both men's and women's. If you want to check that out, I've got the link for those in the video description. They're really cool. Lots of sweatshirts keep you warm. We're actually at a laundry mat right there and doing our laundry. 
we don't have a washer or dryer in our bus and actually we've thrown the idea back and forth of maybe even not ever installing one because you know we have to do laundry like once a week and we can we can come to a laundromat and really get it done in about two hours wash all of our clothes dry all our clothes in two hours and then we're done for the week so it's really quite convenient for us so now we come to the point of this video as you guys know we do carpentry work when we're on the road to help pay for our travels and one of the issues with our bus has been storage space like we have these big bays underneath our bus here and here now this side is primarily all of our water tanks fresh water gray water and black water tanks this side here is all our storage and it's been very inconvenient for us if we because we have all of our tools in here if we want to get to tools say that are in the middle of the bus we have to take everything out and get to those tools so what we've done is I designed a slide out bed, a bed slide for this bay right here. And we just installed it the other day and we want to share with you guys how we did it because really this would work, this would work in a truck bed. This would work in um, if you've got your own bus conversion and you have bays, even if they're the short bays, the long bays, it doesn't matter. This would work and is, makes it very convenient to access everything that's under here. Let me show you this. Isn't that cool? Traditionally bed slides for a pickup truck cost anywhere from I think six to a thousand dollars and they may even go up further than that. This 150 bucks it was relatively easy to build so there's a couple things really amazing about this bed slide one it'll hold up to 500 pounds two if we need to get to the things that used to be really hard to get to that are back here all we have to do is simply move a couple things and climb back there and grab what we need out so i'm going to show you guys how i built this so of course before starting a project like this i had to go get the supplies to do it First, I ordered these sliders off Amazon. I think they were $114, which was a really good deal, I thought, for locking sliders. I'll put the link for those in the video description. Next, I went to Home Depot and got the rest of the supplies, the, the wood, the plywood, the carpet, the lag bolts, everything. All right, guys, so we're at Home Depot getting material to build our slide out for our bay. So we need three of these two by three by eight foot uh, studs so these are as you can tell they're not the standard two by fours going a little bit smaller we need some plywood one piece of 3 8 plywood spray adhesive in wood glue Outdoor indoor carpet. I need three carriage bolts, three nuts, three washers, and three lock washers. So the sliding rails I chose to go with have a 500 pound capacity rating. Not only that, they lock shut and they lock open. This side of the bay was pretty simple. All I had to do was put the slider down onto my carpet and I took self-tapping screws and screwed to the side of my bay here to fix this slider to the wall. I measured to make sure that my door would be able to shut and that I had clearance for my sliders. On this side, I had to make a rail for my slider to attach to. So we're parked actually in the middle of Colorado Springs. Um, 
you wouldn't think that there'd just be these big lots in the middle of town, but there is. And um, the family here is nice enough to allow us to, to park here. And they even had hookups, 50 amp hookup for us. And so, yeah, it's such a blessing to have a place where we're not having to do this work in the middle of like Bass Pro Shops parking lot. <laughs> it's cold today and windy. All right, got my piece done. That way it looks factory. All right, got my new piece in here and now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our carriage bolts in and this will secure this down so that when our slide goes on here, the weight pulling up on that will be stable enough. All right, ready? So A is about to snow again on the snow, so really it's going to snow two times again. Really, it's cold right now, so we're working on this. We're cutting these pieces. While Shane's out building the bed slide, um, well, actually, I started organizing this outside, and I'm like, what am I doing? Why don't I come inside and have Ethan, Kira, and Elisha help me, me um, sort through. Yeah, you can help, too. Sort through all of our screws. We we have just bins and bins of screws uh, from when we did the bus conversion that that we're no longer using. So we're sorting through them and we have some new bins and getting rid of some old screws and yeah. So the last thing I needed to do on this project was to build the platform. And I did that with the two by three studs I got from Home Depot. I cut a notch all the way around the bottom of the stud so the plywood could slide into it and make it extra strong. Maybe go this way. After that, we use spray adhesive to attach this carpet to the frame and gives it a really nice look, a finished look. And not only that, it helps anything that I need to slide, it helps it to slide a bit better. And it just looks great. Next, I attach my platform to my sliders. Now, one issue I ran into, because I had to have my sliders set back a little bit, I had no way to screw the back of the platform onto the slider because the hole that they have for the slider is further back in. So what I did is I drilled a new hole here and I was able to get my screws in that way by adjusting, slowly sliding the slider back and getting my screws in. So if you're doing something similar to this, you may have to do that as well. All right, now we're gonna put some tools in there and see how it does. Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to see. It's very heavy. So I ordered 28 inch sliders for this. If I could do it over, I'd probably order the 30 inch sliders. I'll also put a link for those in the video description. So what I did to get a little bit more room in the back is I extended my platform back. I made it a little bit longer. But because I made it longer, I had to actually notch each side of my platform out a bit so that it did not interfere with my sliders. So now my bed slide is done. And I've got to tell you guys, I am already loving it. I had to get a tool out a couple days ago and it was just so awesome to be able to come out here, pull this thing out and be able to have full access to, to all my main tools. I keep all my main tools on here. You know, I've got my chop saw on here, got all my hand tools on here, my hammers, my, my power, my cordless power tools, 
everything is very easy to get to. All the tools I don't need all the time I keep in the bays. We're considering doing another one of these on the other side, but it would be smaller. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is an awesome upgrade for this bus. I'm already loving it. I know I'm gonna really enjoy having it on future jobs. And you know what, if you do, don't do carpentry work, that's fine. This could be used for anything. Anything you need to access under here, um, it would be great. So you guys have a blessed day and I hope this helps you guys out in your bus conversion project. Bye.